Okay, sub-level four of the Frontier Cavern. Hey guys, what's up? I am I Cabagon. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we started the Frontier Cavern. And in this episode, we are possibly going to be wrapping it up. But this floor uh, looks much different than the one I just had. Uh, I had a... I just restarted this. Like, I just ran this floor. So, oh, you know what? You know what? That's going to be nope. But I was kind of scattered and all over the place, so I decided to just reset. Uh, I'm not going to count it as a reset because it had nothing to do with the game. It's just It was just a commentary thing, so get down. Oh, no, 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 no. But uh, something else I do have to be careful of is these uh, bumbling snitch bugs because I was reminded, um, excuse me, to be careful of uh, keeping the president and Olimar's health from getting too low. Um... As there is a very, very interesting boss that I really strongly dislike. Oh, you bitch. Just get down. Stop it. And Loki kept jumping on the freaking, on the freaking couch when he knows he's not allowed to. Oh, I would love to get my purples, but there's some electric traps. This is basically just going to be a floor for the yellows. No, do not plant my yellows. You fiend! This is so sloppy. I'm already a mess. But our marble has returned. Um, so, since I recorded the last episode, uh, I have practiced the remainder of the game. So I have a pretty solid plan in place to pretty much complete the game in 14 days. Which, I think, is absurd. Like, I think that's... A ridiculously good run. Um, my best run, I think, of this game is 23 days. However, I have set myself up in a position where I can do it comfortably in 23 days. It's not like the last day will be a rush. Uh, but that is all going to be apparent in due time because for now... No, 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 no. We have uh, some asses to kick with our white, with our yellows. Uh, you know what? I don't even have to kick the asses. Just grab the yellows. Um, yeah, 14 days, I think, is a great run. Please don't let there be a bomb rock. Oh, come on, really? Really? Get away. Um, I think I'm going to finish the Frontier Cavern in this episode. Because there's... Five sub-levels left, including this one. So we'll just make this the Frontier Cavern episode. Uh, and let me tell you what, guys. This boss... It's not really hard, per se. I think I might have revealed. It's one we've seen before. But I hate it. I hate this boss so much. Um, Really, guys? No one wants to help? What? Well, you actually... You made it go down the hill. The uh, star from the top of our Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure that's the last uh, treasure. Uh, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Do -do 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 -do. It's so pretty. Innocence lost. <laughs> I forgot it was called that. That's super creepy, Nintendo. I've, I've got... I'm just not okay with this situation. Uh, this floor layout, uh, you might remember, uh, this this little this start room right here specifically is uh, they grabbed this from the uh, submerged castle, uh, and it, it appears in a few other dungeons. But we're gonna go on to the next sub level, and I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Whoa, we kind of like poured into the uh, into the next sub level rather than jumping. It was just kind of a bleh. Frontier Cavern sub-level 5. So this is a Nirvana floor. And uh, I don't remember if we've seen these guys, the enemies here. Remember that guy? Remember that guy? That's a Mamuta. So Mamutas. Oh, no. I just realized I left a Violet Candy Pop butt on the last floor. That's super unfortunate. However, what would be cool is if I could snipe this guy and get a purple potion. Come on. Somebody get him? Damn it, he went way too high. And I killed a Mamuta. Um, I didn't even get any potion drops. That's really uncool. Damn it, I just... Oh, that sucks. I got too reckless, and I forgot to go explore, because I should have turned five Pikmin into purples. 
Uh, but there's a f candy pop bud right there. So my God, guys, you suck at separating. My God. All right, so I'm gonna throw five yellows and turn them into flowers. And then I'm gonna take the whole crew uh, and show off the Mamuta special ability because they're not actually dangerous. Mamutas are really interesting. Uh, they're probably the most beneficial quote unquote enemy in the game because what they'll do is they'll smack your president or your captains, but they, oh, come on. It's kind of tough to get them to do it without attacking him because they will make all of your Pikmin flowers. Oh God, no, 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 you guys are gonna kill him. Did you guys kill him? You guys actually didn't kill him. Why aren't you all attacking? Hey, yellows, why don't you join the party? Oh, now you guys all kill him. Oh, uh, that's super uncool. I needed him to flower my yellows specifically. So yeah, what he'll do is he'll knock them into the ground and uh, they will all immediately become flowers. But we have mostly flowers anyway, so it's super beneficial to just let the Mamuta smack your Pikmin, especially when you've got the Pluckaphone. My god, that's awesome. I love that so much. Um, but one of these Mamutas has a treasure. And we're just gonna spam and hopefully we can knock some... Because, like, I, I'm not convinced I can do this Mamuta fight without taking damage. Uh, which one dropped the treasure? There it is. It is going. So this is the... Oh, oh one of our purples is flowered. This is what the only time we ever get a suit upgrade from a not a boss. Processing, how strange. This atypical metal object came from inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art? I assure you it's not. Okay. So, I think we only have one leaf. We have two leaves. Damn it. Everybody grab stuff. Everybody butt the leaf. I, I know I dropped another nectar somewhere. Here we go. So this is a, a like a half Nirvana floor. If you dropped a potion, that would be so cool. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I was wondering if that was gonna happen. This is a really helpful uh, upgrade, actually. The Brute Knuckles, says it's a giant fist. This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist, a glove much like the one that it, like it, a glove much like it once lay in my junk hold. Jesus Christ. And here is that very glove. I have found, I've just found the missing rocket punch in my junk hold. Tap A one, three times to launch it. One, two, punch. All right, oh, really? Bam. Damn it, no potions. So, what that means, okay, first of all, I've learned things. Shout out to Jeffrey, Midnight and Beyond. Uh, even though the game specifically told me, I did not realize that you can go into this awesome first person mode if you have uh, this kind of, like, if you hold down the R button. This is so great. But what that, uh, what that upgrade does is it makes our punch. Look at that. Bam. He winds up and bam. So now our punch does way more damage. It makes it a lot easier to take out enemies like Dweevils. Like, let's demonstrate on this caustic Dweevil. So yeah, we can just absolutely wreck. Because these Dweevils cannot actually hurt us. The, they can knock us down. However, we can just wreck them. So some of the smaller ankle biter enemies, we can now just punch the crap out of them with our captains. But on to the next sub-level. I still can't quite remember what this holds in store, but uh, hopefully it's not too terrifying. Uh, I don't remember any really bad enemies. Oh no, this floor. <laughs> this floor is really interesting. So what we're going to want to do, which captain? Okay, it's going to be Olimar. Uh, Olimar needs to stay here. And the president, because the president has low health. We're going to have to try and do this. Without losing anyone. You know what? I'm just going to speed this process up. Because it's not going to go well. And we got to use these guys. First thing we need to do. Oh god. Oh god. Shoot! And he scars. Alright.
Yes! I cheated and glitched the system. All right. And uh, I forgot that I've lost a Pikmin. So this Bulbin ended up being extremely helpful. So yeah, the best bet to do here is this is uh, one of the more difficult floors in the game. Uh, and uh, your best bet is to uh, just just take uh, your bulbs, or not your bulbs, uh, your take, uh, take your, your captains. And, uh, let the, um, the decorated cannon beetles, uh, do their, do the work. I'm just gonna let this Bulbin do this work by himself. No, I'm not. I'm far too lazy. But, uh, this is actually a, an interesting set of treasures. What are you guys called? Ten. There we go. Now, I think this, this one is technically buried. God, the Bulbin moves so strangely. All right, go on guys. I don't trust you to get over this hill. Oh, it's not buried. Okay, cool. All right, but uh, there, one of them is called Priceless Statue and the other one is called Worthless Statue. It's, it's kind of funny and kind of weird. Like Nintendo, the way they named the treasures is super interesting. Like Innocence Lost on the last floor. It's just, I don't know what they're implying, but it's really, really weird. Uh, I decided to just grab these. Clear them a nicer path. All right, everyone, grab the other statue. That, this is going into the ship at a strange angle. It's uh, they're chess pieces. I think this is a bishop. Yeah, this the white one is worthless statue, and the other one is, and the black one is plight priceless statue. Uh, it's very. It just it implies a lot of weird stuff. I don't quite understand. But, um, if I remember correctly, that right there might be the last Bulbman we're gonna see. Oh, President, no! That's unfortunate. I'll have to go back up. Alright, so, it's made of, like, marble. Looks great. Priceless statue. I guess people do make pretty valuable chess sets. Alright, so one more floor and then boss. And, oh, I hate this boss. But we still got one more floor to do before that, so let's do it. Even though I kind of cheated on that floor. No, no, not cheated. I just kind of used the assets the game laid out. I'm not even kind of sort of remembering what this floor is. Oh! Oh! Yes, I am. Oh. This sublevel has a very funny backstory. Oh, God. So, again, for like the hundredth time... Shout out to Deceleration47. This is, uh... This is, like, the floor of Falling Rocks. As you will see when I take this one Pikmin. Let's just, like, let's just observe here. Come on, where are you? The only problem with doing this is... Oh! Oh, yeah! Suck on that! Come on, get it again! Get it again! Yeah! Boom! Oh, God. So, yeah, um... I, that actually brings up an interesting point. I am so glad I got to show that off, that, uh, the falling rocks can kill enemies. But what they usually do, if they land an attack, like, on the back of this guy, it made him way freak out. Like, he goes all over the place and bounces and does all kinds of crazy crap. But we're gonna, just gonna have to wake these guys up. Because we need to trigger all of the falling rocks. Oh, come on. Damn it. But, so for this reason, we want to keep our Pikmin in our hand, but, yeah, there are falling rocks everywhere. Uh, if these guys weren't so aggressive and they weren't so close to each other, I would almost recommend killing this guy, killing them with our whites. However, they're all over the place. I'm going to turn the Baldman into a white Pikmin, and I'm not going to bring you guys with us. Just the one white, please. Come on. Yeah, uh, so what happened was David uh, started the episode on this floor. You guys are still awake. Go back to sleep. Oh, God. Go back to sleep, please. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually mentioned it, uh, but the difference between these guys is these guys wake up 
super duper easy, and they're way more aggressive than the uh, red bulb orbs. Um, but what happened with David is that he uh, he started his episode on this uh, on this floor. <laughs> And he, uh, forgot that there were falling rocks, so he went with his purples and got crushed by a falling rock. Um, I think he lost, like, six Pikmin, and all of them were purples. So it ended up being really funny, and I really hope I'm not setting myself up for some kind of badness. Uh, by getting all of my Pikmin killed by a falling rock, because that would just be the worst. I'm pretty sure I got all of them, though. And we got to show off that falling rocks can, in fact, kill enemies. That was another one of the things I learned in my practice run. It's not- it wasn't quite as glitchy as it was in my practice run, but whatever, I can deal. Um, we're also gonna need to get the whites, including the one we just turned the Bulbman into. Uh, and grab our ish. And we want to use whites because I can't remember if there's any falling rocks that are triggered specifically by Pikmin carrying them back. All in all, this floor is not too difficult. If you just... You do, like, the the wicked strategy and just, uh, take, uh, your flowered whites, or take a flowered white, walk through, and then set off them, uh, everything. If you just kind of run into the floor and start killing things, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, that's why I, I very much don't recommend it. There's no falling rock in here, right? There's no there's no real bomb rock traps. It's all falling rocks. And again, like I've said a few times, the f the themes of the these last area dungeons are so awesome. Like this one, it's just emperor or orange bulb orbs which are super easy easily woken and uh, oh my god, all these falling rocks. Be careful. Uh, I'm gonna grab the reds because they're decently fast. Uh, I think the last treasure was not buried um, So that's good Do I have to go back here? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'll just take you guys out uh, Hopefully I don't get cutscene Good we're all alive Okay, and our flaming yo-yo has returned Be -do 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 -do. Flame tiller. Hoorah! Alright. I really shouldn't have chucked all my Pikmin in there. I don't know why I did that. Actually, I just had a thought. Um, because the remainder of this day is going to be kind of useless, I'm actually going to end this episode right after this sub-level. Uh, so that way, in the next episode, I can show off the boss, and then we'll kind of cut in stuff wherever we need to because that's kind of how the next episode's gonna go so the, our our bell has made it back that's a really not shiny bell spouse alert that's really funny I love that good job Nintendo um but yeah so we're gonna go to the dungeon thing and uh that's gonna be it for this episode guys so with that i have been i cabagon thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe for more videos like this one if you've not de done so already don't forget to check out lpers unknown as well as all the links in my sidebar next time on pikmin 2 we're gonna be taking on the boss the frontier cavern and uh grinding up some purples and uh wrapping up the valley of repose so until then guys i am signing off mm -hmm.